Namaste. Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome to Soul Fusion Cafe. I am Jess Gentinen, your host, and this is your place for radiant wellness and soul forward living. Every Tuesday, we are live at noon Eastern time, which is 9 a.m. Pacific. So grab your lunch here. And hey, thanks for those of you that might have been waiting the last few weeks. Definitely had a few weeks off, but yes, we're here. Awesome. Hey, B. Yes, lunch while you're in NYC traffic. Bless your soul and your heart. And uh, thank you for being out there doing what you are doing. What a great way to spend your time, though, right? Thanks for tuning in. Oneness Talk Radio, you know, and there are so many amazing shows here. So, Hop on, subscribe on the YouTube at Oneness Talk Radio. Get over at uh, Oneness Talk Radio on Facebook or OnenessTalkRadio.com. But if you're subscribed to YouTube, you can get all the updates of when shows are happening or when a show is on. And there's always amazing support because, you know, this network is really about all voices really matter and the voices of positivity and oneness. Those that are here championing that are are who we get to listen to through music, talk, uh, all different formats, times of day, live shows, podcasts. There's an amazing amount of stuff. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kelsey. Awesome. Amazing to have you, Gary. Namaste and much love. And I'm going to hop over and grab the call board and make sure it's all going. Call board is up. If anybody would like to call in and has a sharing, uh, if you have a question or you would like a mini reading, 517-208-1500, 517-208-1500. And yeah, awesome day. It's a new moon. If you're catching this live, whenever you're catching it, it's always the perfect time. But this energy, the new moon is here and today is a huge day. Um, they're always big, new moons, and they're carrying this illuminated energy. It's such an opportunity for balance. So I got to go open up today talking about the new moon and balance. And, and today's topic that we'll dive into some more is, right, like living through the chaos, thriving through the chaos. How do we really um, sift through the chaos and lift out of it, right? And that's definitely going to be something we're going to dive into some more um, a little in a little bit. So yeah, it is a new moon today, and I want to dive into a little conversation around that because these new moons of 2020 and 2021 have all been carrying an illuminated energy. And that illuminated energy is amplifying what might be ready to be seen that could be out of balance in our lives. So it's a really good opportunity and moment to feel into your own heart, to feel into your body, to feel into your areas of support. Where are you feeling supported in your life? And where might you not be feeling as supported? You know, where is it that you're feeling there might be an imbalance? Today is an excellent day because you're so supported to see it. And when you see it and you're aware of it, you've already begun the lift, right? When we've already uh, come to an awareness that something is out of balance, then we are seeing a larger picture and we're able to start applying our consciousness to it. And that's that's the amazing spot to be in. So today, and you might be noticing just in general that with the intense up levels we are having um, this year, it's just, you know, 2020 and expanded, right? We are going through so much and so much is happening. Uh, in the world. And it is really important that we have these touchstones. That's why I love Oneness Talk Radio and the shows and the hosts and everyone that we have here. Hello and love. I see more people popping into the chat. Kelsey, I see you. And I'm going to hold that for a bit. I would love to honor you with that. And yes, so the energies have been profound, massive. So you might be noticing um, ascension symptoms being really heightened. And that's just a call to awareness and attention. And you might be feeling like, yeah, I know there's these areas I'm out of balance. So once we're aware, today's an awesome day to take some 
action towards, you know, what, what do we need to call in that greater balance? And we're so supported today, but it can feel intense. And we're moving towards the pre phase of Mercury retrograde. We're not even in the pre phase, but we are experiencing that kind of energy already. And the beginning of May opened up, right? We opened up these, this first of three gates in May. There's massive energies that are coming into the planet that are here, that are present, that are supporting us and assisting us. It also is feeling really unstable out in the, the world at large, the world of the 3D or density, however you like to call that, where everything has a form and we have all these systems and uh, ways of thinking and belief paradigms, right, that are really grounded in the fact that we're separate and we're separate beings and it's 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 a really interesting time because it's all shaking up and it's all been it's like you know it's been boiling for a while so it really is important that we notice what we're focusing on and if there's something that is going on in the world that is distressing you know by watching we are just feeding that addiction and feeding that energy and this is something Master Lady Kira Ra and Sri Ram Ka have been talking about for the last week or so is that we really need to be that island, right? We really need to be that place that is, you know, free from the influence of all that other stuff. You need to be your island right now and really need to uh, do what brings you joy. It's a major joy moment. If we are looking around at all of the crap that's going on, we are going to go into a judgment about it. It's impossible not to in that moment. We're going to go into some kind of fear or anger or anxiety. And, you know, even, yeah, there might be those times where you think, oh, I can do these quick peeks or whatever. Right now, like, don't think, you know, usually we even think we can do more than we can. We are affected no matter what. It's all energy. But right now, like, it is big, big time come into yourself. Come into yourself. Be with yourself. And really honor what it is you need to bring you greater joy. And when you're feeling parts of your being that could be out of balance, if the body is talking, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, the Just when I touch in with other beings and those that we track with these, you know, it's, it's fascinating. There's a lot of overlays. So, I mean, if you're feeling things in your joints, if you are feeling um, things with your skin, if you're feeling things with your balance, you know, that can all be a, a part of the ascension acceleration that we're going through and these up levels in this experience. And our body takes a little longer to adjust and we are, we are, whether or not uh, anybody wants to say they believe it or not, or thinks it, or even knows about it, we are in a completely different energy than we have ever been in before. We have gone farther than we've ever thought we would before in our conscious evolution. We are at a place where we are able to tangibly work with the energies of manifestation and multidimensional being and it's just becoming more and more real and then the density is becoming more and more crazy and that's that chaos you know and it's so important to remember where we need to break away from that and lift into a different perspective or being and sometimes you know what is it for you that creates that joy momentum is it getting outside for a walk is it singing at the top of your lungs to a song you like there are you know how do you find the joy in the things that maybe even don't seem joyful on the surface or to your ego or personality how can you be in that state and cultivate it and let that be the focus and watch what manifests and watch what comes forward and we really are needed you know if you're one of those that identifies as a healer or a light worker or uh just one of those beings that's here to to create a better place for your family for the community for um our world 
it's really important. It's really important that you are making sure you're spending that time, taking that time to cultivate your connection to spirit, to soul, to however that um, calls to you or resonates to you, but keep your focus on the divine. Keep it there. Keep it there. And you will be pulled in so many ways. And right, and there might be so many beings in your life or world that might say, you know, oh God, did you see this today? Did you see what's going on now? Right? It's like people are riveted and want to share it and want to hear your response or your opinion. And there's so many opportunities for mastery. Or there might be some of those beings that we love so much in our life that don't understand you know, what we are interested in or how we are growing uh, or where we see the possibility. And it's, it's um, part of the journey. We all on our spiritual evolution will cycle through and release certain relationships or they will change dramatically. Um, and that we will go through those points because we realize that they weren't serving us that we were not being served right and i'm gonna hop over to the call board and see if we have any calls coming in i don't see any calls yet hey if you want to call in the number is 517-208-1500 517-208-1500 if you have a question a sharing would like to request a mini reading hop in there and the call board should be open and with this new moon and all this energy, it's a big day for me too. I'm back on one official Sri and Kira radio uh, tonight, Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, to co-host with Master Lady Kira. Ra. Um, an interesting show last week that could not, would not, would not happen so many interesting things happened and we're coming back and doing it this week and um not to leave this one out the new moon ceremony is also this evening i facilitate that on a monthly basis and if you hopped in last month it was a little different because we did it with the beginning of monday magic and the i am discourses which was fantastic and it was um i opened up for that event and just led a meditation with the new moon ceremony um, is a portion of that but this month we'll be back to um, the format that we normally follow and that's at 7 p.m eastern so new moon ceremonies at 7 p.m and then hey if you want to keep hanging out expand your experience and come over to soul mirrors right after and it's a donation event the new moon uh, if you can donate, if you want to donate, if you don't want to donate, but it's, it's there. It's my gift of service. It's at selfascensionstudios.com. If you go to the events, you'll see the May 11th and, um, everything's up and should be working now. We have all new systems and all new ways of doing things and it's fantastic and amazing, but interesting energies this morning. So all of that is flowing so hey yeah hop in you know we do an online it's a zoom session you can come in by camera or not if you didn't want to and we do some practices and some sharing and there's always a channeled balancing meditation and it's the opportunity to call in balancing for yourself for the planet we we honor the planet and come together it's a gathering it's just a really beautiful time uh, to come together that way. So if it speaks to it all, please join selfascensionstudios.com. Would love to have you. And uh, yeah, it's it's profound, you know, and I have these kind of days and I look, I'm like, oh, wow, look at how many times. And I know there are some of you that I'm going to get to hang out with three times today. I mean, that's profound and amazing. And I'm noticing a huge shift today. I'm curious to know what you guys are thinking or noticing with these shifting energies because there was some days and I know others echoed this where there was fatigue, there was other energies that were um, at play there and it was definitely a little sticky feeling at times. You know, there's just that stuff to move through. But today it feels like, oh my gosh, you know, 
Maybe it's also because it feels warm here up in the north. It's been cold still. Um, and it, it's like 50 today, which is warm. And the sun's out and the windows are open and cleaning and organizing and getting things done, getting things done. And there's that energy that's pushing it, you know. And knowing that we have those cycles, right? We have those cycles. We have those moments in our flow. And sometimes we have to, you know, make ourselves take some of those first steps and then when it takes over it's so amazing and this energy just comes in and supports it all and we when we know if we're experiencing like being out of balance or we're feeling the the tiredness or we're feeling something else that's going on or another symptom or an illness or something we need to clear that's when we have to go into that deep deep love for ourselves and that deep uh just the commitment that says, you know, I'm going to not judge myself through this. I'm going to bring in my tools, the ones that I feel work for me. Those are the moments where our mastery is honed, are the uncomfortable moments. Like we're not going to ever have a time where we're not going to feel it, you know, and we're, we're, we have a human experience while we're here we have a body while we're here we have emotions while we're here we're going to feel things we're going to be triggered things will come up it's how do we uh, choose to move through that moment you know and i guarantee you if you're one of those that's hard on yourself about your progress or where you think you are or where you're supposed to be and there's all those shoulds floating around all those judgments you know i guarantee if you really feel into where you were at uh, a year ago, five years ago, compared to now, if you were in this, you know, experiencing a similar trigger or situation or energy that you're moving through, I guarantee you that now you're like, okay, I might move through that in, you know, a day, an hour, um, but it might have taken, you know, weeks or months or years in our past because we didn't have those tools or perspective or learning. So to remember how far, like, that you really have come, right? How far you have come. And when we're navigating this world and it's just a chaos soup, it's this complete insanity or density sanity, like Sri and Kira Ra would call it. Um, and it's just like, it's got Velcro on it and it's got sticky goo on it. And you go about your day, you go about your things, even if you're keeping that focus on the divine, you know, it's, we're being bombarded by a lot. So really honoring yourself. There's times where maybe you need some extra clearing, you know, maybe you need that bath or that time outside or to dig in the dirt or uh, play with a, an animal or, you know, be with a little kid or whatever can really make you happy in that moment or help you shift the energy or release in some way put a funny movie on you know dance what calls to you and what works for you and remember that you know it's it's practice for a reason you know our spiritual practice is called a practice because it takes practice that's all we're all doing all the time is doing a practice uh and you know that dance is a good time i'm gonna hop over to the phone lines I hope this picks up all right. I'm gonna make sure we're up and let's go over to Illinois. Hello, Illinois. What's up, Jed? Can you hear me? I do hear you, Gary. Nice to see you, hear you. <laughs> now, Namaste, how you doing? I'm doing well, I am doing well, thank you. And how are you? Very good, very good. Just trying to get out of God's way so God can do whatever it needs to do. Exactly, right? That's Through me to, you know, experience the miracles. And I, I, I missed when I was talking to Kira the other day when I said I'm calling a miracle to experience them. I was trying to force a miracle on this guy at work for a month. And it was actually tiring me. And uh, I finally just, I just got into meditation. I said, God, you you know, work, I can't do the miracle, obviously. Will you do it through me, work on this guy? And then I sat next to him at work that that, uh, that day and it happened. 
Wow. I mean, within an hour, his color and his face changed back to white. And, uh, he had a real red face. And he was whistling and singing. Within an hour, I was like, holy shit. Wow. So this guy stays mad all the time. You know what I mean? Wow. But it was wearing me out trying to force a miracle on this dude. It was like, I was trying to force it and it just wasn't working. So I just, you know, ask God to, you know, do what, do what you do through me. Work the miracle. And let me experience it. And that's what happened. I love that, right? Because it, we can't force anything. And if we're in that energy, you're in that, you're almost repelling that which you would want to attract and extending yourself in a way you're not meant to. So when you stepped back and invited <laughs> spirit to work through you, then like, oh, there we go. You know, let let go and let God. Yeah. Wow. Profound. That's right. That was a beautiful learning experience for me. Profound. That's amazing. Now I know what to do. Thanks for sharing that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, we love that. It was awesome. I just wanted to clarify that because I don't want people to think I'm claiming power, you know, that it's not mine to claim. Exactly. And we you do hear saying? you and feel that too, that you were, yeah, you invited and allowed that to work as it will and mm -hmm. and surrendered over. And that's amazing. Thank you. Thanks for clarifying Thank that. You. No yeah. Oh, no problem. Glad to do it. I'm glad to share uh, me with you, obviously, on my lunch break. It's a great. I'm glad you do this at lunch. Thank what, you. Uh, do you only do this like once a week or what? Once a week. Yeah, I did um, have to miss a couple weeks there and take a little time, but every Tuesday, you new. Notice. Yeah, you noticed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out and being there. <laughs> So we should be good to go now every every Tuesday at noon oh. Eastern. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for hanging oh, out at lunch. I look forward to it. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Gary. Oh, that's awesome. It makes my lunch better, Jeff. It makes uh, my lunch better to be with you guys. Yes. Awesome. We're so happy. Thank you for calling in. And you have an awesome day and happy new moon to you. You too. Much love to you. Namaste. Much yeah. love. Namaste. Bye -bye. Beautiful. Yeah, that number if anyone else wants to hop in and say hello, 517-208-1500. 517-208-1500. And yeah, I mean, I just love this community. And if you're on the East Coast, yes, you get lucky if it's, you know, you have lunchtime at noon and you get to listen at lunch. That is so wonderful. Or if you're over at Pacific, it's 9 a.m. Maybe you're starting your morning with us. And I see some others that have hopped in and just saying hello and hi there. Oh, it's beautiful. And um, normally, yeah, I can see comments here. I'm going to go ahead and offer a few readings here. Kelsey, are you, if you're still here, I'm just going to feel in. And you know what? Every time I feel like I'm getting a tap off of you, I am grabbing the I am discourses book and I am not sure if you're enrolled in Monday magic with Sri and Kira if you're not you can still always join and the I am discourses those of you that know what I'm talking about um, that know of this text or are enrolled in Monday magic where we're decoding and um, unlocking unlocking the keys for right now from this text um, I've I've just loved this text ever since I encountered it and it's been profound going through it together. <coughs> and what I am really noticing that came forward when I connect with you, your reading Kelsey really is coming from the I am discourses. And it is these key phrases that these I am statements that came through. So I want you to really breathe into your heart for a moment connect hands to heart, taking a breath. And this is really for everyone. So. From Discourse 5, I am the pure electronic essence that fills my mind and body and I broke nothing else. I am I want to know if I have that written down correctly, guys. I have to go look at my book. Yes, I am the pure electronic essence that fills my mind and body. And I brook nothing else. 
I am, I am the mo the pure electronic essence that fills my mind and body and I brook nothing else. I am always the victorious presence of the mighty I am. I am always the victorious presence of the mighty I am. And breathe in your Kelsey as you just feel into this moment and each of you that are receiving this right now. Just remembering that the I am presence within you is the most powerful <laughs> connection that you have to your true self. And we are using I am statements all the time. Notice where you are declaring, I am, I am tired, I am angry, I'm afraid. Or are you claiming, I am this radiant being and presence and all that is, I am the island, I am the presence, I am free, I am unlimited. I am the pure electronic essence that fills my mind and body and nothing else. There's nothing else but that. So really feel into that, dear one, and thank you for this moment and this connection. So. And hey, Elizabeth Amara, you're enjoying a plantain waffle with us. That's amazing. That's awesome. That sounds so good. Um, I really need to get to cooking with plantains. That's such an awesome alternative. And, you know, I was looking at the up-level calendar as I was just clearing here in between the reading and connecting back here with you guys. And May 2021, and this comes from uh, Shri and Kira. You can buy their up-level calendar. It's a donation on their website if you have not and this interests you because there's so much information it's not just a calendar and i'm looking at may <coughs> and noticing that again in just two weeks we are going to hit the next full moon and that is the, the eclipse and that is a up level day so we're two weeks away from this up level day and as i'm connecting with that and then mercury retrograde begins you know reminded that this gate that opened we are going to be like going through this portal and that we are in this moment of intense it's like it's the birthing you know if we're we're birthing a lot here we've been birthing for a while it seems like a long time but a it's like a blip of an eye from the ascended perspective and we are it's like this contraction experience and whatever you are cultivating right now just notice that feel that because if you can be in your i am presence as the creator and you can stay out of that chaos if you can just really be the island and be there with you and yourself in your supreme divine amazing beingness you're going to notice that you can sail through this time without being affected very much and and even if so able to shake it off quickly um and you're gonna see a wow like you know boom when we get to that full moon so imagine everything that we are bringing and calling into greater balance right now and all the visions that you have had since back at the equinox of March that have been simmering and simmering and simmering. Imagine how these are going to burst forth and how much energy you're going to receive towards your visions, towards what you believe in, towards what you are, who you are and your gifts in the world. So it is prime day and weeks ahead as we move to that full moon and that eclipse energy. It is a really um, amazing, amazing time. Oh, cool. It's also a Taurus new moon. Thanks for that, Amara. Um, beautiful energy. Feels suiting. And, hey, um, you know, if you're noticing any discomforts or anything that has been feeling like it's a bit much lately, um, you're just not alone. You're not alone. And that's why it's so great to come here and be reminded. Um, you know, it's 
again, energies we've never, ever experienced before. Everyone's experiencing it, whether they're conscious or not. And it's really a time where we're able to see everything dancing in front of us that might keep us from lifting. And our bodies need us. Your body needs you to, you know, this is that reminder, even if like you know it with your brain, like we have to keep practicing it to really watch how you are talking to yourself, how you are speaking to yourself, um, how you are uh, caring for yourself. And to just really be aware, you know, what if you just spent um, the week being in complete loving acceptance of every decision and choice you make? This is a really interesting exercise because you might say, well, how could I say that if I'm eating, you know, a bag of chips or I'm smoking a cigarette or I'm watching a toxic newsreel or something? And how could I say, oh, I love and accept this choice I'm making. And this is the best possible choice I could be making for myself right now. If you seriously apply that kind of love to everything that you are doing, you're going to increase your awareness and you're going to shift the energy so, so, so much faster than you ever could otherwise. And, um, you know, it's really a fascinating amazing thing to become aware of and to notice and oh my gosh i have to get my charger it's not attached to my computer one moment please don't hang out here for one second Thank you, thank you for hanging on while I grabbed my charger. Now I'm gonna stay and hello. Seeing more people popping in the chat, it's so fun. And hey, I saw Kim. Kim, you're still there. I would love to do a mini reading for you. And I'm just gonna feel into this moment and just get really clear. And uh, whew. Yeah, right away, I'm just feeling, just come into the stillness, come into the stillness of your heart. Breathe in and allow your head to tip back so that your eyes are gazing softly towards the ceiling and feel the throat open a little as you do tip back. And really like allow your fingers to, maybe you start to tap them together or you um, bring them into uh, a prayer position and just kind of bounce them, but activate your fingers or your merping if you know how to merp and bring them to your heart center. You know, and anyone that's listening, this is a beautiful practice that uh, beautiful Kim, thank you Kim, is bringing forward for all of us. And just connect those fingers to the heart center and almost feel like um, it's like crystalline jelly or gel that you are infusing from your fingertips. Keep them on the heart and slide them up the throat, up the neck. Continue to allow and just see that it's like this beautiful crystalline gel that's almost being packed in. And maybe you're just tapping around your throat, breathing through your throat. <sighs> Breathe and just receive. And they are sharing to receive, receive, receive. Are you fully receiving the gifts that are being showered upon you? Or is there some part that is yet resisting the deservedness, the worthiness piece of fully allowing it in? Is there a resistance anywhere? 
and allow the self to just breathe in ever more fully. And they're sharing that really doing um, the living Ankh practice regularly would really support and help and, and assist you. And that there is like this just, I mean, there is, there's just beautiful divine feminine energy that is all around you and a ton of protection and love. But allow yourself to relax into the divine more fully and trust that it can support you to release anything else that needs to go so that you can receive as fully as you deserve. Thank you so much for the blessing of this moment and that powerful practice. Um, appreciate it very much. Thank you, Kim. Namaste. And uh, beautiful, beautiful sharings. And I'm going to pop back over to the call board. Let's see. We've got a call here. Oh, this might be B. Hello, Namaste, B. Namaste, Jess. Namaste. What's going on? It's a beautiful day in New York City. I'm loving the show today. Nice to have you back on Tuesdays. Um, you know what I'm going to tell you. It's been nothing but miracles here, you know, since I got back from the equinox. And it just, since the full moon ceremony, everything's going as supposed to be. And uh, oh, if you have a chance, any any intuition or anything that you have for me is appreciated. Thank you, B. Awesome. It's my honor and pleasure. And I'm so excited to be connecting with you. And I feel that New York City energy and awesome weather. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Miracles, miracles, miracles. How awesome. And as I'm connecting with you, it is, uh, it's impossible to just not have a huge smile. And I just see just all heart radiance, just your heart radiating out as it beats and this energy that is touching so many. And it's going far beyond what your mind can comprehend or would imagine uh, is even possible. There are beings experiencing this everywhere and to just keep remembering that you're that master yes this gets to be easy this gets to be magical miraculous and it gets to just get bigger and better and there is so much um amazing merry energy um just this loving compassion that is settling all around you that is emanating through you and touching those that you meet and thank you for the gift that you are and the gifts that you are bringing to the world thank you so much for being here thank you oh namaste my love and enjoy your day namaste. awesome awesome thank you so much if anyone else wants to try to hop in before we're done here that number is 517-208-1500, 517-208-1500. And uh, yeah, it's so fun. I love the live call board and connecting with you all. And I just feel that energy and that radiance and the mastery and community that's gathered here, a beautiful time. Um, hi, Alehia. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Feeling a lot of fog, had symptoms, stopped all forms of smoking, noticing major fog, had symptoms. A mini reading would be wonderful. Namaste. Oh, yeah, that's my honor. So, so, yeah, there's so much just um, the clearing, the clearing, the clearing, and it takes some time, does it not? So. Hmm. There's just like this depth that's coming forward as soon as I connect with you. It's deep like the cosmos, deep like just staring down into this well of like, and it's just all these beautiful cosmic colors that is just there to cradle you as your body heals. And um, it's like it's assimilating to the shift in the, all the energies, right? And there is this just depth within you that's, that's opening up. I mean, it's always been there, of course, but that you are just able to drop into this deep place of knowing you have the wisdom 
and the skills, the, the word I'm getting, you have all of these pieces that are all coming together and you're about to really <laughs> see the train go fast. It's going fast when you, you're, you're already on it and it's a going, you know, so keep on going, keep on uh, harvesting the gifts and the jewels and really honor yourself. I mean, like take the time to have that cup of tea and throughout the whole cup of tea, honor yourself, love yourself where you're at. Thank you so much for um, messaging in and the request. It is my honor and my blessing. Namaste. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. There are so many beings popping in here. I don't know if I have time to get to everybody everywhere. Oh, my stars. Let's see. Let's hop over to Concord, California. I think this might be Amara. Namaste. Hey, Namaste. I don't know how to get in on your live show, so what a treat. Yeah. This is so much fun. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Just, just wishing everybody uh, and loving everybody, not wishing, because that's a kind of like a funny word, but Sending new moon love to everybody. Every new moon, I'm trans. And this is why it's so important to go to Tosa Blue Mountain in Ecuador because every new moon, I personally travel to the sanctuary, also known as the yoga room, um, where we have this beautiful altar. And it is a divine us, it is our sanctuary. It is not just Shreen Kira's, it is truly our center where we can travel to and they have this beautiful statue of the sun god Surya with his wife on an elephant and it's their sacred union day so every new moon it's that sacred moment where we get to claim our soul body union our divine father divine mother aspects and source that's infusing through us so it's it always has this precious uh like a fresh rose mm. very beautiful time oh. so i'm feeling the miracle and uh ready to start a beautiful epic laser therapy journey of service mm. and i've christened my laser it's called um vesta which is the goddess of the sun so awesome <laughs> awesome to check in and say hello Hello, and thank you so much for all of the sharing and bringing in that, the, the remembrance of the balance of the masculine feminine too, and just how rich this day is and your passion for it and celebrating you and your epic lasers. And what was the name of the goddess, the sun goddess, Vespa? Vesta. Vesta. Helios and Vesta. So Vesta, like the Vesta versions of the ancient Beautiful. times that I was part of, I'm sure. So yes, it is a time for a divine partnership. So Wonderful. I'm holding partnership in many levels in my life, in my heart and in my vision. We're all worthy. Mm -hmm. We're all so worthy of love. Absolutely. I love you, I love you too. Day, I love you. We love you. Thanks, Amara. Uh, awesome. I'm going to hop over quick too. We got another call here. Hello, unknown wireless caller. Namaste and welcome. No. Oh wow. Well, it's so it's Solia. It's my former name was Pauline Solia. 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 Solia Sol. Hi, Solia. I'm just gonna declare it right on your show. Beautiful, Solia. So, yes. Can I get either a clarity card reading or you do a mini reading? Whatever you feel is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Supposed to be. Yes, I'm going to feel Thank in. You. And before you do it, I want to ask, are you going to be doing the new moon on the Soul Mirror show since last week it didn't happen? Nope, but this, the new moon, thank you for asking. It's going to be before Soul Mirrors. So if you want to get in, you can still hop into the new moon. That's at Self Ascension. Okay. I have a conflict. I have somebody that I promised to be at there. Oh, seven. absolutely. I want to be at both of yours. Oh, absolutely. And then you can pay for it and come on and get the... Get the um, 
the download. Yeah, you can register and you'll get the recording. Absolutely. So yeah, okay. if you can't make it That's live, and awesome. I didn't pay for it, and I really feel I uh, need to it's a donation. You and donate back. Oh, well, thank you, my love. I appreciate that. And it's it's never expected and a donation is always appreciated. So yeah, absolutely. So yeah, sign up and you get the recording if you cannot be there live. Beautiful. And I'm connecting with you and just smiling and I'm looking around like, where are my cards of clarity? They're not by me. I meant to grab them, but they were not meant to be. So I'm going okay, to feel in. Yeah, I'm going to feel in it. I'll do it. Yes, the, the cards are a helpful tool, but I'll do it. And as I'm connecting with you, it's like I immediately had to get the pendulum out. And there is this just, um, just beautiful rainbow, rainbow, rainbow energy that is all around you. And there is the, in the allness, there is the oneness. In the allness, there is the oneness. So, and all of those colors of the rainbow, right? They're all from the same source, just like when we hold up the crystal to the light and it refracts through and it makes all these streams. And we remember that it all comes from the same source and that in every experience or sharing, every experience, everything that has ever happened is um, part of that refraction of the oneness and that there is the oneness in everything. And they are just showering you with that rainbow energy and just honoring you. And there's this deep bow of just, uh, just like a, a recognition that you really have traversed so much and that you are a master and there's an honoring of you and that, and that you are at such a moment where everything is, is possible and you're just being showered with this miracle energy. It's your time to take that, that, step and keep taking those steps and honor the ones that you have been taking and know that is all flourishing and being supported. So thank you for the opportunity for this moment and this reading and really celebrating and thank you. you for, uh, yeah, thank you. I'm going to thank you and Carol if I get a chance because they're the ones who seeded this and then you also rewarded me. Oh, awesome. Beautiful. Yes. Shri and Kara, thank, thank you. you. Yes. Namaste. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful Shri and Kira. Like so many of us that I know tune into the show may have found me through Shri and Kira, or you might be going, Hey, I know Jess, but I don't, I don't know them yet. And go to Shri and .com. Go to official Shri and Kira on YouTube. Their predictions, their energy support, what they're offering, the perspective is beyond amazing. And what they do for the planet is beyond amazing. And um, it truly, truly is an honor. And we're coming down to the last few minutes of the show. If you were not able to get a reading, I wasn't able to get to you all. Um, call in next week. Hop in. I, I have to try to honor the phone lines first. But hey, it's been awesome that I can now hook up and see the chat really easily here from all my sources. So that's beautiful. And yeah, come back on Tuesdays, noon Eastern time live. And if you want to hop in for that new moon, um, tonight, go to selfascensionstudios.com and you'll see the events. You'll see where you need to register or email me just at selfascensionstudios.com. And I'm happy to help you register and get set up. It's donation based. It's up to you. It really is my gift of service each month to offer the new moon. And, uh, if you want to hop on soul mirrors tonight, go to oneness talk radio again at 8 PM Eastern after the new moon ceremony, I'm going to just expand the evening and hop over there with Master Lady Kira Ra and co-host the evening. So, yeah, see many of you again and again and see you next week otherwise or whenever we do again. And all my blessings, all my love to you all. And, hey, also check out some of the other events going on. There's a six-week awesome series of just hanging out, doing some galactic cosmic yoga and some meditating and journaling with each other for six weeks. It's no high pressure stakes. It's a beautiful time to get together and connect and be in flow. So check that out too, because that starts in, oh, just about a week and a half. So selfascensionstudios.com. Have an awesome day, an awesome week. And remember to just keep shining and thriving and lifting into the truth of who you are. And see you next time. Namaste.